Today we are going to be learning some multiplication tricks. Multiplication is repeated addition. If you are asked to multiply 2 times 4, you will find the result quickly because you can use repeated addition. 2 times 4 is the same as 4 plus 4, which is 8. 3 times 4 is the same as 4 plus 4 plus 4, which is 12. Could you tell how much is 5 times 4? That's right. The answer is 20. But what if instead you needed to find the result of 100 times 4? It would take too long to add the 4 100 times. The 100 times 4 turns into this. This is a very long summation. What should we do? Is there an easy way to multiply 100 times 4? Yes, there is an easier way. It's a very simple one. 100 times 4 is equal to 400. So, as we can see, the result is simply a 4, with two zeros at the end. What about 100 times 6? Well, 100 times 6 is equal to 600. Again, the result is simply a 6, with two zeros at the end. What does this mean? It means that when we multiply a number by 100, we end up with the same number with two zeros at the end. Could you tell how much is 100 times 9? That's right. The answer is 900. The same happens when we multiply a number by 10, but instead of two zeros, we add one zero to the end of the corresponding number. For example, 10 times 4 is 40. A 4 with one zero at the end. Eight times 10 is 80. An eight with one zero at the end. 17 times 10 is 170. The same number 17 with one zero at the end. What about 10 times 10? What does that equal? You are right. 10 times 10 is equal to 100. And? Did you understand everything? Great. Let's look at another example together. Let's do a quick review of what we have learned. When multiplying a whole number by 10, simply add a 0 to the end of the number. 5 times 10 is equal to 50. A 5 and a 0. When multiplying a whole number by 100, simply add two zeros to the end of the number. 5 times 100 is equal to 500. A 5 and two zeros. You may be wondering, can we do the same with 1000 or even 1 million? Well, the answer is yes. 5 times 1000 is equal to 5000. A 5 and three zeros. Following with this rule, could you tell how much is 5 times 1 million? You are right again. The answer is 5 million. A 5 and 6 zeros at the end.
What is 12 times 10? That's right. The answer is 120. Adding a zero at the end of 12, we get 120. What is 7 times 100? That's correct. The answer is 700. Adding two zeros at the end of 7, we get 700. Remember that the order of the numbers, or factors, doesn't matter in multiplication. 7 times 100 is the same as 100 times 7. What is 2 times 1000? You are right again. The answer is 2000. Adding three zeros at the end of two, we get 2000. What is 10 times 66? That's correct. The answer is 660. How much is 10,000 times nine? That's right. The answer is 90,000. How much is 77 times 100? It's correct. The answer is 7,700. How much is 11 times 100? You are right again. The answer is 1100. How much is 45 times 10? That's right. The answer is 450. How much is 100,000 times 3? That's correct. The answer is 300,000. How much is 10 times 100? It's correct. The answer is 1,000. All right. That is the end of this video. I hope you understood everything, and I see you again in the next video.